Hey everybody, it's Laura. Happy New Year. Woohoo! <laughs> 2019. Insane. Completely insane. I don't even know. Um, I'm going to be doing a plan with me in my B6 TN inserts. These are the daily Dutch door style with the weekly overview from Justenia Printables. I was like trying to show you the Dutch door, but it's over here. <laughs> <laughs> this is a washi from Michael's, I think, Target maybe, I can't remember, but it is deep blue with silver foil snowflakes, and then the base of the kit that I'm going to use is from Pigeon Paper Company, um, so I have a lot of other stuff in here too. Um, oops, I think I took out one too many things. <laughs> Um, so this was like a little Ravenclaw kit that she put together and it is such a cute little booklet. So the first page has this week, next week, and then some, which I don't know if she forgot to color those for Ravenclaw cause she's did, she did these in every house and they're yellow and red. So it's a little weird. Um, little like appointment labels, half boxes, teardrops, and then I guess these are like third boxes with a bow and then these are like half boxes. And then the next two pages have paper clips, owls, different flags, um, letters, these little longer flags, and some deco. I love the little owl on the pedestal. And then we have remember to do, remember to do, and then four full boxes, which are beautiful. And then this back page has bows, owls with presents, which is so cute. Um, these little banners, Expecto Patronum, Mischief Managed, and then these fold into those little, like, pop-open stickers, which um, I have never done before, so I'll have to play with those. And, again, that was from Pigeon Paper Company. And then I also have these um, <sighs> Harry Potter-themed deco. Oops. Oops, oops. <laughs> I'm so professional, you guys. I can't even stand it. <laughs> this is the writing letters kit, but it's in Ravenclaw colors, so I pulled it out just in case. And then um, this is the Ravenclaw deco sheet. And then I have some, like, bow quarter boxes. And then this was, like, the Hagrid sheet. So I don't know exactly what I'm all going to use. I'll probably pull in more washi and stuff also, but I'm going to start with this one because I knew I wanted it. And this washi is weird. It like, do you see the sticky? Like it like sticks more to itself and then leaves sticky behind. So I think I'm going to try to use some undo like after I lay it down because it's very... It's very sticky to itself and not very sticky to anything else, which is, I don't know. It's very bizarre. I might have to put glue underneath this. We shall see. I forget. It's been a while since I used this washi because I was like, what is this nonsense? <laughs> um, because of how gooey it is. Like, who has a gooey washi? But I don't know if it's, like, old, like, if it was sitting too long or... If it like was exposed to heat or who knows what but it's it's some weird washi but it's so pretty right oh gorgeous okay um so yeah we're gonna try so this is the week of um new year's like i said and Originally, I was going to be talking about Fantastic Beasts this week, and I mentioned last week that um, I forgot how much happened in the first Deathly Hallows, so I needed to talk about that movie the entire time. So today we're talking about Deathly Hallows Part 2. Um, yeah, I'm going to try this on like a Q-tip. We'll see. This might be a disaster, but we'll try it. Um... So yeah, Deathly Hallows Part 2, and, um, oops, <laughs> if, oh, don't squirt out that way. Okay. If you guys want me to talk about Fantastic Beasts, then just leave a comment, and we can talk about it another day. Um, I feel like this is working. It oh, it's like pulling up the washi. Let's not do that. Okay. I don't know. Like I said, giant experiment here. I might have to glue down underneath it. 
I just don't want it to be sticky. Because I don't want my pages to get stuck together, you know? If this works, that would be awesome, though. Because it doesn't ruin the foil or anything. Okay. So, in um, Deathly Hallows Part 2, um, the goblin is so, like, nasty to Harry. Like, why... Why is it so, I don't know. I mean, I guess they said goblins are mean, but I don't know. It just seemed a little aggressive. And then, I mean, jumping forward a lot. When the goblin died, why did the sword disappear? I don't get it. I don't remember if they talk about that in the book, and I just don't remember, like, the details of it, but... If you guys remember, let me know. Or if that was just like movie thematic stuff. Okay, hopefully this washi will stick because it's already like peeling up. I don't know. But I think it's at least not sticky anymore. So that's cool. And it's super pretty. Whew, gorgeous. Okay. Um, and <laughs> he's so like suspicious. Like, why were they so, um, like, against each other? Like, why, you know, when they were talking about, like, why did Bellatrix think the sword would be in her vault? And why did, um, you know, I don't, I don't remember the whole conversation, but it was just like, why are they so susp suspicious of each other? Aren't they both wanting to, like, I don't know. I guess maybe goblins don't care if Voldemort is in power. I don't really know the whole issue. <laughs> um, and I know I've looked up before, like, when Hermione is um, Bellatrix, like, why she couldn't show her wand when they had Bellatrix's wand. Um, and it was something about, like, it was reported missing or something. So then if she reported it, like, if she showed her wand, then they would know that somebody stole it and they were the ones that stole it or something, even though they, like, won it from her. I don't know. It was very complicated. There's a lot of details left out in the movie, obviously. <laughs> um, but, yeah. So I'm definitely picking up some color on the Q-tip, but it doesn't seem to be affecting anything on the washi. But you can see, like, the weird color here, and it's because it's all sticky. We'll go with that. Um, and then it's interesting that Gregorovich is in the movie. Um, I think that was cool. Um, I love <laughs> when they're at Gringotts and they like take that, uh, car ride thing down. It's so dramatic. And then they hit the, um, that like fountain thing, um, like the water that washes away enchantments and it's like wholly intense. <laughs> Um, the dragon is sad, but very cool when it, like, busts out of there because of Hermione. <laughs> um, let's see. What is this week? The 31st through the 5th. Obviously, I only have these four full boxes. I'm not sure what else I'm going to pull in, but I think I'm going to start the week and end the week with these. So I don't want to do it on Monday. I want to do them like here, here. So you can get the like scene. That's the word I'm looking for. <laughs> so we'll put this Tuesday, Thursday or Tuesday, Wednesday, and then maybe like Saturday, Sunday or something. I forget how it's set up, but, um, that's what we're doing. Um, but yeah, the, when they're in Bellatrix's vault, that's crazy when everything starts multiplying. Like, it's so clever. Um, clever trick, but whew, that's intense. They're like drowning in fake gold stuff <laughs> because I think it, I can't, I mean, I can't imagine it would multiply as real because then you could just like make your own more wealth. <laughs> And I'm pretty sure that goblins aren't going to let that happen. 
I think this is still wet or something. I'm not sure. I can see through it though. I don't know if I rubbed the paper too hard or what. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't know why they didn't just like ask Grip Hook if they could use the sword to, I don't know, break the locket. I don't know. I can't, I don't know. It just was confusing to me. Like, why did they have to give it to him? Why couldn't they just say, hey, we need it for this purpose. Can we have it until then? But maybe he wouldn't have agreed to that. I don't know. Um, it's really cool that you get to meet Aberforth and, um, you know, like Dumbledore's family. Um, and I love when they're um, reunited at Hogwarts, when they go through the passage with Aberforth and, um, you know, there's Seamus and Lavender and all of them. I think it's very, very cute. So, so, so cute. You guys, I should have pulled out more. Like, what was I thinking? Um, let's see. I have stuff from Chasing Chells near me. Maybe I'll use some of this for added color and items. I don't know. We're just going to do it. I have extra full boxes somewhere here, too. So I think we'll... Oh, yeah, here they are. We'll pull in some of that chocolatey brown color and some of the full boxes. So let's start there. <laughs> um, let's see, this is the 31st. So maybe a Thestral. I really like the Thestrals. Um, let's see. But yeah, I love when <laughs> they're reunited at Hogwarts and Ron is all like offended that Ginny only wants to see Harry, but Seamus is like, she's got loads of brothers, <laughs> only one Harry. <laughs> so funny. Um, so true. <laughs> um, and when they like barge in on Snape and everything, it's just great. It's like, go get them. <laughs> um, so that's fun. Um, let's see. I gotta turn my page on my notes. I don't know how that box just went down straight. And I have no idea what these two things are going to look like together. I think it might be a little strange, but okay. Okay, when McGonagall fights Snape, that's totally epic. Love it. It's like, go McGonagall, go. Um, and Snape all like putting his wand down and everything. But, you know, you find out all the truth. In the end, with Snape... I still think he's a little weird, though. <laughs> um, and then when she sends Slytherin to the dungeon, and when um, Mr. Filch is like, students, out of bed. Students in the corridor. <laughs> and she's like, you blithering idiot, they're supposed to be out of bed. Um, yeah. It cracks me up when um, McGonagall, like, does the what is it Pierre Pierre totem locomotor or something like that and <laughs> gets the soldiers like from Hogwarts down and she's always like oh I've always wanted to do that um and Molly looks at her like she's absolutely nuts that's so funny um because you know like she kind of is absolutely nuts but it's just McGonagall being awesome <laughs> and then I might have to take the rest of this insert out it's very lumpy so let me grab everything that's not this week okay it's not great but it's better And then I was thinking like if you were a first year during the Battle of Hogwarts like what what spells do you even know to protect yourselves? Especially because they had been like, I don't know. I mean, I guess maybe they knew a lot because of the Karos and Snape and everything. But freaky. 
I don't think I would have liked to be in that situation <laughs> at all. Um, I would not have been too pleased to uh, have to um, fight not knowing a whole lot. But I don't know. Okay, is this going to look totally weird? Ooh, that's not what I wanted to do with that sticker. <gasps> oh, come up. Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, no, I think I can handle this. We're going to put this for... Um, do I have New Year's Eve? I have Happy New Year. I must have used New Year's Eve. Let's put this over here. Just to be on the safe side. Because... Yes, this is Happy New Year. Okay. <laughs> that was almost a disaster. Um, so yeah, I would not have wanted to have been like a younger student during the Battle of Hogwarts. That just seems very, very scary and not safe at all. <laughs> um, I love when Neville is yelling at the Voldemort people when <laughs> they're on the bridge and he's like, you and who are, whose army and all that. And then like, you know, the the spell is broken or whatever, and they can run across, and he just goes running. <laughs> it's like, oh, Neville. <laughs> um, it's pretty funny. He's funny, though. Like, I love that he gets all bold and, you know, he's all grown up and standing up for everybody. And he's all into Luna, which is adorable. Oh, it's so great. Should I put the Today Headers down? Or just, I think I'll just do glitter. I don't think I need any checklists because, like, what the heck do I have going on this week? Maybe on Sunday I'll put a checklist. Because that is my first day back in town after being gone for a couple weeks. So I'll probably have stuff to do that day. Um... Where'd the other sheet go? Is that cute? We're just doing all sorts of weird stuff today, you guys. I don't know. Um, let's see. Ron running after Malfoy in the room of requirement when he's like, that's my girlfriend, is adorable. Super, super adorable. Like, how can you not love him? <laughs> um, making up for lost time, right? <laughs> And then Hermione, like, is initially, like, going after him. And then she just, like, smiles. <laughs> it's cute. Um, I think it's really dumb that they couldn't match Lily's eyes. So I know the whole thing with, like, Harry Potter wearing, or Daniel Radcliffe wearing contacts the whole time didn't work, blah, blah, blah. But why couldn't they make the Lily characters then wear contacts? Like, why? Why couldn't she just wear contacts for whatever, like, short scenes she was in? Um, because that makes no sense to me whatsoever. Because <laughs> it's the whole series. The whole series. You have your mother's eyes. And then you can't give her eyes that match. Are you kidding? This is so cute. I think I'm going to put washi behind it, though. Um, that was not straight at all, by the way. <laughs> okay, so we've got black and silver and, I mean, blue, silver, bronze. I have that cute one. With, like, rose gold and this little one with rose gold. Hmm. Okay, guys, I'm back. So I think you guys saw me putting down, or I said I wanted to put down washi before I put the owl deco down. So I did. This is the 
I don't know, navy with rose gold bow from Simply Gilded in the 10 and the 5 millimeters. So I put the 10 there, I put the 5 there, and then I put the 10 at the top of every day. And it did cover the little bow on the inside of the, or like on the box, but it's okay. I just wanted to bring more of it in so that it made it a little more cohesive. And we might bring in more of one or both of these, but... We'll see. Um, and then let's see. I don't know where I was talking about the movie either, but Fred, obviously super, super sad. I can hardly even watch like them crying together because it's heartbreaking, right? It's absolutely heartbreaking. Um, I hate it. <laughs> it's like I your worst fear, right? As a parent, obviously. Um, so that's horrible. I feel so bad. I love seeing Molly though, um, fighting Bellatrix. Totally awesome. Um, so that's fun. <laughs> um, I'm coming back from a little bit of a, not a road trip, but like just, um, how do I want to say it? <laughs> like, um, we're driving about five hours and then I should have maybe like flipped it upside down, but that's okay. We're going to make do. Um, we'll be like near my hometown and then we'll be driving back to my parents' house this day. And I just wanted to mark that. I hardly ever use the road stickers, so I figured I would use it here. <laughs> um, although I did pull out other road trip stickers. That's okay. Um, but I think I'll put a little car. Oh, maybe not. I don't really have any blue left. I have one light blue, but I think that'll look weird. So never mind. We won't put the car there. Um, I might have an icon in the Chasing Chels stuff. We'll look in a minute. And then let's see. I need to write down my goals and statistics this day. So I think I'll put something here. Oh, maybe one of the fold-out boxes. That would be cute. Okay, so how do you do this? So... So this has to stick down and then you want that folded over so that that opens. Okay. I had to think through that. <laughs> I didn't want to screw it up because you're sticking sticker to sticker and that would be hard to get apart. I really hope that's straight. I don't think it is. Not quite. Pretty close though, and then this folds over. So that it looks like a letter, and then you open it and you can write in there. Cute, it's a little crooked, but it's my first time, so <laughs> it's okay. And then we need to stick this down. I think I'll put it right here. Wait. Um. Goals, I should, nope, statistics, I do one month. Okay, yeah. Had to think through it for a sec, you guys. <laughs> okay, and I don't know how this will be like in the planner having the little flap, but because this is my last week in the planner, I don't think it will be a huge deal. So that will be my statistics for Instagram and YouTube at the last day of the year. Um... Yes, and then this is Hello January, but I have the Happy New Year, so I think that's fine. And then we do have rent due, some bills due, that sort of thing. Um, maybe I'll put bills up in the top bar. I've never done that before, but that could be fun. I'm struggling. Okay, so I'll talk about that while I... Um, I don't know what I'm saying. You guys, I'm struggling. <laughs> okay. So, 
So, anyways. Um, it's super, oops. It's super sad when Harry realizes he's a horcrux and, like, he has to go die and all the things. And then Hermione knows and it's just sad. Um, you gotta hate that. Because, like, you know you're losing your best friend, but then he doesn't die. Um, I think it's interesting that Narcissa lied to Voldemort to, like, after she found out about Malfoy. And, like, she didn't really have to, I don't think. I don't know. Um, I mean, I guess. I don't know. I guess it was just her way of saying thank you for, like, letting her know that he's still alive because, like, she didn't have to tell, or she didn't have to be nice to Harry and tell Voldemort that he was dead, and obviously she was taking a big risk in doing so because once he found out he was alive, then what? Um... So that's interesting. Um, I don't know. Tell me your thoughts on that, on that whole situation. And then I love when Neville stands up to Voldemort. He's like, I've got something to say because, you know, he's like saying we have something to fight for and all that. Um, I hate the ending when Voldemort turns into just, like, dusty skin. Like, what? Why? I don't get it. I don't like it. thought it was gross. <laughs> I like when Harry breaks the Elder Wand and, um, Hermione and Ron are kind of looking at him like he's crazy. And then Hermione just sort of, like, looks like she's in awe of him because, you know, he's got the courage to, like, do that sort of thing. So... I think that's really cool um, that she, like, acknowledges that in him. Oh, the whole train thing at the end is bizarre. Like, I don't know. It could have been done better. I hate the name Albus Severus. Like, who does that? Is that really real? I don't know. I think it's silly, but <laughs> uh, what are you going to do about it? Um, so, yeah, I just, it's nonsense to me, um, the whole Elbus Severus name, and then when they show, like, Ginny and Harry and Ron and Hermione and their kids, and I don't know, I mean, it's cute, I guess, but it's still a little weird. This box is not the same width, so I'm just centering it a little bit better. And it's a little sketched out, so um, it doesn't quite fit. But I'm going to put the remember here, and that's for checking in for my flight for the next day. Um, yeah. So, overall, I mean, I like the movie. I like that you get, like, a finished, you know, like... It's complete. You have a finished series, all the things. But is it my favorite? Definitely not. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Sorry, I couldn't tell which side was the coil. But I want to film on a Sunday when I get back. Well, let's see. No, it'll probably be Sunday. Saturday's my flight, but I think I don't get in until, like, late afternoon. And I'll probably not want to uh, film that day. So we're going to put it over here. And we'll put film in there. Um, okay. I don't know what else I need to actually put in here. So, <laughs> so funny. Um, let's run through my day so I can look at my plans. So, Monday, I'm coming back from Milwaukee to my parents' house. I need to put my statistics in here. And then on Tuesday, I need to make a goal. Um, Tuesday is oh this might be payday I think I'm getting paid the week before but I don't know um 
this is the first day of January and we have rent and bills due. So bills are going to go up here on those days, which I think is really cute. Um, so we have rent, student loans, credit card, that sort of thing. And then on um, Wednesday, I have my car bill and my Pilates bill. And then I, I don't know what I'm doing these days, so um, I might be at a friend's house. She might be visiting my parents' house. I might just be chilling with my parents. I'm not totally sure. Thursday, I don't know anything either. Friday, I'll probably order my Hungry Root because it won't get delivered until the next week. And then I'll have some food for upcoming days. And then I have to check in for my flight. Saturday is my flight. Sunday, I'm home. I want to film. I'll probably have a to-do list, like groceries and stuff like that. So I'll be doing laundry in here somewhere before I leave to come back to Colorado. Um, and then I just have a little bit of deco and the like snowy washi, which I think is fun. Let me know how you feel about the mixed metals. It's not my favorite thing, but I think because I pulled it in throughout as well as this like bronzy color, I think it's okay. I need to pull in more of the light blue um, because it's not really jiving at the moment, but I think we'll get there. <laughs> um, I have more of like these and stuff too. Um, and then I want to put more deco in, but I never know where I want it. Like, how do I know where I want deco? I don't know. So I might just hold off. I really like, um, maybe I'll do like a little Hagrid's hut scene up here because I really like this stuff. Her artwork is just... Oh, she's so very talented. Like, it looks real. Like, look at this. It's so precious. So we'll put that, and then maybe we'll put the little unicorn over on the other end. Over here. Kind of hanging off the page. I don't think I'll use the phoenix, at least not on this portion. Um... Maybe, I mean, the pumpkins feel a little Halloween, I suppose. Um, I kind of want to use a pink umbrella. <laughs> um, I don't know, maybe I'll just leave it like that for now. Because I feel like if I put a lantern or something next to the hut, it's like the size of the hut, and that's a little strange. Do you know what I mean? Like, the deco is amazing, but I just don't want it right next to the hut. Whereas this can kind of look like it's in the foreground and the background. So I think I will leave it like that and be done there. So I've got stuff everywhere. <laughs> this is just ridiculous. But this is my spread for the week. Those are my thoughts on the movie. I know I didn't have as many as usual, but I don't know. There's a lot of fighting. So there's that. <laughs> there's a lot of Harry finding out things and, you know killing horcruxes and stuff like that. I mean, I like it. It's all very interesting, but um, I just didn't have a ton to say. So those are my thoughts. Leave me your thoughts down below. Let me know if you liked this Harry Potter planner for the entire year of 2018. I will be doing some Harry Potter stuff next year as well, but it won't be like the same type of planning. Um, and I will share that with you guys once I figure out everything that I'm doing, which won't be until the new year because I have too much to do before I have to leave. Um, because I leave in two days and I'm not packed or anything. My house is a disaster. So yeah, let me know if you liked that theme. I enjoyed it greatly. There was so much cute Harry Potter stuff this year and I had a really fun time talking to you guys about the videos recently. I should have probably started the series that way, but that's okay. We do things in our own time here. <laughs> let me know what you guys think of the spread. Let me know what you think of the combining of the clip art. Again, I think it's a little strange, but somehow I'm okay with all of it because it's just all fun blue and bronze and silver and all the things. So anyways, if you like, um, plan with me, stay tuned for more, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell if you liked it. Um, and then let me know any of your thoughts down below. Shops will be linked down below, all of that. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Have a great day. Bye.